everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Madison. I am a second year, second grade teacher and welcome to another week in my life video. I know you guys love these and I love filming them. I love bringing you guys along with me through a week of school because there is a lot going on and I love having someone to talk to about it. And so um, today is Monday, September 20th and I apologize. My posting has been a little off schedule. Um, I have been working with some brands and when I do that I have to submit my videos to them to get approved to go on my channel and sometimes that can take a few days and sometimes I have to go back and make some edits for them um, so yeah that's why some of my videos have been kind of off um, but I am hoping to get back onto a regular schedule posting once a week again so like I said today is Monday but this week is really weird so this week I am um, only gonna be here for three days Wednesday we have off because we have a professional development day so the kids won't be here but I will still have to work and then Friday I'm taking off because I am in my best friend's wedding so that's going to be super fun so yeah this week is a little bit different um, but super happy that it's gonna be a short week before I get on with the rest of the video I want to mention today's videos sponsor the sponsor of this video is Cambly thank you so much to Cambly for sponsoring this video Cambly is a global online English learning platform with students from over 130 different countries. So currently Cambly is looking for tutors for non-English speakers. So they're looking for English speaking tutors that are kind, patient, and flexible to come on and teach some of their non-English speaker children specifically. So you guys have probably heard of a lot of different online teaching platforms before. You might have heard of VIB Kid or any other other type of online tutoring platforms and I personally have tried some of those platforms and I never stuck with them for multiple reasons it's really hard to get into the interview process is long and grueling and sometimes it can kind of take too long to even get started that for me specifically I lost interest because it took so long just to even get started and honestly the pay is just no good so Cambly is an online tutoring platform and they have tutoring for children and tutoring for um, adults so if you're looking for a way to online teach and still work with kids they do have a kid tutoring program and that is for kids ages 4 up to 15 and the pay is actually a little bit better it is $12 per hour if you are tutoring kids versus um, other general tutoring and guys $12 per hour that is just crazy um, because whenever you look at other tutoring services they're usually much much less and that is such an incentive already to get started not only is the pay great but it is super easy to get started the interview process is nothing like the process to get started with other tutoring centers and it's so much easier so much faster the best part is there is no requirements such as you don't need a degree to get started you don't need any past teaching experience any past tutoring experience you don't need a teaching certification to get started Cambly is just looking for people that are passionate about teaching passionate about helping others and helping teach children and others that are looking to make an impact in our world it doesn't matter what degree you have they really just want kind patient people that speak English that can help other non-English speakers. The best part is there's no planning needed unlike actual teaching. All you have to do is log in and get started. Cambly has all the lessons and planning already planned out for you. You can literally do it from anywhere. All you need is a computer. You log on, you can teach from anywhere, teach from home, teach wherever you're at, whether you're traveling or stuck at home. Your schedule is super flexible. It's set by you and there's no minimum hours that are required to teach. So it's completely up to you how long you wanna do it for. If you wanna do it in the morning, at night, during the day, whatever fits your schedule best. The best thing is there are students from all over the world that you could connect to. Students in Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Turkey. You get a weekly pay, so you get paid every single Monday by PayPal. I know a lot of teachers are looking for that side hustle. I get asked all the time, what's a great side hustle for teachers? I 100% recommend tutoring online. It's easy, simple, fast, and it's flexible to fit your schedule. Whether that's during the school year or during your summers, I am going to look into Cambly to teach online during my summers because it's so easy. You can do it from your home and you can make really good money by doing it and still get that joy working with kids. So I will have all the links to sign up for Cambly down in the description box below. Definitely look into it look on their website they have all the information there
there. If you're thinking about getting a side job or even for just for next summer, look into it and click the link down below to sign up. Okay, y'all, I am eating my lunch and guys, our day has been really weird today. Not only is my week totally off, but I got news that my schedule today would be kind of off because third grade is on a field trip today. So we took over their specials time. So <laughs> normally our specials time is after lunch. Today we had specials before lunch. So my day's just been so off um, and I'm not hungry that early in the morning. So I'm just now eating, which is my normal lunch time right now. It's 11.30 really fancy lunch right here. I'm just eating these Kraft mac and cheese things. They're just so easy, so good. I also have a salad in there and some chips. I like to bring just like options. Sometimes I only eat this or sometimes I only eat the salad. Just kind of depends what I'm in the mood for. So today has been a really, really good day. My class is just doing so well getting used to the schedule. And what I love about second grade is that they start off so... Ooh, that was my alarm. I need to take attendance guys <laughs> Set an alarm on your phone if you are always forgetting to take attendance because your alarm app allows you to um, Like have it like repeat on certain days. So I have 1130 every day Monday through Friday go off on my phone. <laughs> so that it reminds me. Okay. Anyway, so like I was saying my class is doing so well um, at the beginning of the year second grade is very codependent. I mean like first graders walking in pretty much like they don't know what they're doing um but they progress so fast kids just their brains are like sponges they really grow and progress so fast they become independent so fast and i mean by the end of the school year i already know this class is going to be great so independent ready for third grade because they're already showing me a month into school that they are learning they're catching on um and i have been setting way stronger expectations this year just because i learned a lot during my first year of things not to allow just little things that will really change <laughs> your life um example letting kids come up to you whenever you're talking so if i'm in front of the room talking whether i'm giving directions or teaching and a lot of the time littles like to get out of their desk to come ask you a question whether it's like can i go to the bathroom or just something like really small like oh i need a pencil and so last year it was constant having kids get out of their desk come up to me i would have like a line of kids and i'd be like oh one one at a time one at a time not doing that this year so that first day i set the expectation i will not answer your question unless you're sitting at your desk with your hand raised and my kids are doing so well with that they already know i see them all the time go to get out of their desk and i'll look at them go and then they'll sit down and raise their hand. Um, so it's just so cute seeing them really catch on to little things like that. Shouting out was huge the first week. I mean, it was just like blurt, blurt, blurt all day long. Um, we've gotten really good at that. I will not answer you. I will not reply to you if you blur. They have to raise their hand if they want me to listen to them, answer their question, etc. So that's really huge, at least with littles. Like they want to blur and they want to stand up and they want to get your attention right away. They are not used to having that patience to wait for someone to call on them. So that's something that we're learning. This class is really good about keeping the room clean. I always set an expectation for whenever they line up, their tables need to be cleaned off. So um, we've been doing our team points on the board and I always say I will give a point to the teams that are lined up quietly and have their table cleaned off and I don't mess around. Like today, there was a glue cap like sitting on their table and I didn't give that team a point. I was like, it needs to be cleaned off. All they can have is their bins on their tables, um, but nothing else. I don't wanna see papers, anything like that. So now they're really good about it. Like I can hear them saying, oh, go grab that, go grab that paper. Um, and they always push in their chairs. That's another thing, their chairs need to be pushed in. So this class is catching on very quick to that. I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually got a student teacher, which is really exciting. Um, it's only for one day a week. So I live really close to Mizzou, um, uh, which is a college in Missouri and so, we get a lot of Mizzou students that come to our schools and our district um, to do their student teaching experiences. And Mizzou student teaching experience is a little bit different than the one I did because I went to college at Missouri State, um, which is in Springfield, Missouri. So we had observations and different practicums is what they called it throughout college. But then our student teaching was just a five month span, your last semester of college. Like I moved home for my last semester of college and I student taught at a school in my hometown instead of in Springfield. Um, whereas 
Mizzou, they have like different levels of student teaching. Um, and so I think I got um, a guy and he is, I think in like his second level. So it's not like his final student teaching or anything. He's fairly new to the classroom environment, um, but it's been really great having him here on Thursdays. My kids love him and he really helps me out. And I've been trying to give him some responsibility, more responsibility, like every time he comes in, it's like helping transition the class and not teaching any lessons or anything, but he can do like the read aloud and stuff like that. And so I love it. I've always said after my student teaching experience, it was so amazing. I wanted to be that person for someone else and give someone else a really great student teaching experience so um yeah it's been really fun having him today we started our reading and math centers which has been so fun um i took a while to start implementing them just because i really wanted us just to, like get down the basics like how do we read quietly how do we work at our tables quietly before having them go into their centers because i really want their centers to be super independent so if you're working on your ipad what are those expectations if you're sitting at your table working what are those expectations if you're back here with me if you're doing a hands-on activity and we have practiced all of those things individually up until today so today whenever we started our math stations um i have a meet with a teacher at your table station technology so they're on their ipad doing math games and then a hands-on station i had um, them working as a team over here to put together like a number line and since we have practiced all of those things today it was so smooth they knew exactly what to do they knew not to be too loud my lights are censored by the way how cute is this i have this cute little jumpsuit um i think yeah this is from old navy i got this actually a while ago while ago when i was in my student teaching in college but it's actually like gotten shorter on me i'm pretty sure i'm grown or it's drunk i'm not sure but yeah so cute and so comfy so our stations went really really well today they loved it they were like cheering when i told them we were doing uh centers and uh we're gonna do it again for reading later and for reading i have um read with miss campbell independently read hands-on activity and I have some like workbooks and some like flashcards and stuff I'm gonna have them do today. Let me know if you guys have any really good like hands-on reading station activities um, and then technology. So on their iPads they can do like Epic, Pebble Go, anything that involves reading. So that's been our day. It's been a really, really great day. Um, like I said, I'm in a wedding this weekend but I was also in a wedding last weekend. So um i'm in three weddings total this year i have another one in november so it's been like the craziest year three of my best friends are getting married so it's been really crazy um but really really fun i love this season of life like all my friends are getting married getting engaged having babies and i just think it's so much fun being in like your mid late 20s it's the best so yeah one of my best best friends from high school got married last weekend and i got to be in her wedding and it was just like so beautiful such a happy time and another one of my best best friends from college is getting married on Friday that I get to be a part of so both of them are in St. Louis so I've been having to go to, to St. Louis and back-to-back -back weekend I'm really sorry guys most of my vlogs have been like me sitting here talking to you by the way because this is like my only free time I have been getting after school I really just don't want to hang around last year I felt like I hung around a lot more like I would just get some stuff done but I've been really good about working on my plan time getting everything done so that when I drop my kids off I can like get out of here and when I go home, I'm usually only home for a little, little bit. And then I go to my workout class. After my workout class, I go home, eat dinner, and go to bed. So it's been really hard for me to time, find a lot of time to vlog. Um, but let me know if there's things that you guys want to see from my day. Um, I know I got requests for like a new like updated morning routine and night routine So I would love to film that for you guys I also plan to film like a day in the life of a second grade teacher as well And I can take you through like literally every minute of my day from morning until I get out of school I think that would be fun. So just let me know like what kind of video ideas you would like to see I know you guys love vlogs and just like these chatty videos, which are always fun But definitely let me know any other type of videos you want to see I have been on a coffee kick lately. I've even started to get like caffeine headaches when i don't have coffee um i already drank my entire like 12 or 15 ounce coffee this morning um i was pretty jittery um so i definitely need to eat i'm gonna finish my lunch i'm gonna go pick up my kiddos in like 10 minutes and i'll talk to you guys later
It's the end of the day, guys. I am heading out. I have an Orange Theory class at 5.45, so I'm exhausted. I'm probably gonna go home and take a short little nap, at least just like lay down on the couch and relax for a little bit before my class. It's so hard for me to go to these classes after school lately. Last year, I like really look forward to them, and lately, I just wanna cancel every single one. I just wanna go home and sleep and do nothing. Um, but I know I always feel so good afterwards. Like, I'm always so glad that I went. So I'm thinking about that feeling instead and psyching myself up to go. Um, so yeah, I'm about to head home. It is 3.10, so I made it out in good timing and should be home by 3.30. And that gives me a couple hours before I have to leave. So I will probably see you guys back in the morning. I am exhausted today. I don't know why. Because I went to bed at literally, it was probably before 10 o'clock, like 9.50 last night. But I'm just exhausted. It's been a really busy month for me, so I'm tired. But time to do this thing. Let's go into school. Happy Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> I talked this morning, but I was so out of it. I was so tired this morning. I literally could not get out of bed, um, but doing better. I drank my coffee and that really woke me up. So thank God for coffee. Otherwise, I really don't know what I would have done. I was so tired. I felt like I could like, not even keep my eyes open, let alone teach to a bunch of kids all day. But I'm about to eat my salad. I just have one of these. Um, they're the market side salads. This is like the cranberry walnut one. Super yummy. It has some feta cheese, which I love. I really want to start sprucing up my lunches though. I'm getting so sick of just eating the same thing every day. Um, I saw someone posted like a chicken salad recipe, which looks really good. I love like chicken salad, tuna salad, or like egg salads, like stuff like that. So. Um, I think I would really like something like that. I just hate preparing it. I love salads like these because they're just easy. You don't have to do anything. You literally just toss them into your bag in the morning. So, um, But today has gone pretty well. Um, besides me being just super tired, we did our reading groups for the second time today and they are still just going super well. My class is just surprisingly doing very well with them. I have quite a few students that are getting sick. Some of the parents are messaging me saying they're allergies, but I don't know, I have some kids that are like coughing and sneezing and stuff and that really worries me because I'm trapped in here with a bunch of sick kids all day, so that's not fun. But other than that, things are going well. We started our word wall. You can kind of see it. I'm slowly adding words <laughs> to the word wall. We also started stations, like I said, and this is a slide I've been using. I searched on TBT um i think like center rotation slides and this was one of the free ones that came up i don't know who made them i would have to look and check but if you type that into tbt i'm sure these will come up right away so i just have the different stations hands-on technology independent read read with me and their names on it and that has been working really well too lazy to get up so we're gonna keep doing the zoom thing so i also have been um i haven't had to do it much but as you see, I have these little boxes for taking and adding recess minutes. So um, originally I told them if you waste my time, I'll waste yours. And if I have to wait longer than a minute for them to quiet down, I'll take a minute from recess just because this is a very chatty class. So it's very necessary, trust me. But I decided to make it fair. If they're doing a good job, I can also add on recess minutes. So 
super easy. I just wrote it up on the board. You don't need anything fancy along with my team points and student teacher points. This works really well for my class. We did some word scrambling today. So I found this really fun video. If you search like kids word scramble videos on YouTube, there's this video um, where it kind of gives them like three different letters and they have to figure out all the different words that they can make with the letters. And then we did some work um, with three letter words. Basically it just comes in these strips and they have to cut them out and arrange them to make a word and the pictures align. So it's almost like kind of like putting together a puzzle. And while we did that, we had other rotations going like independently reading and working with me at the back table and stuff like that. We're doing really well on our stamina chart. As you see, we have been filling it in every day and we're working our way up to 20 minutes of reading. For the end of the day, we're going to do our read aloud. We have some independent reading time writing and a little bit of science and that's pretty much gonna be the end of our day but guys it is the end of the day i am actually um or i stayed a little bit late it's about 3 30 now because i had a meeting um and now i am just coming back in my classroom and kind of closing up the room so what i've been oh bad angle so what i've been doing lately is getting all my tabs up on my laptop ready for the next day um because honestly the only thing i do when i come in in the morning um is just get all my tabs up and ready get my morning meeting slides get my music up get everything up um which that's what takes the most time so lately at the end of the day i've been just getting that all ready. So literally all I have to do is walk in and I'm ready. By the way, I'm just taking down all the points and stuff for the day. But yeah, so I've been getting everything ready. I even do my days of the week as you guys saw, which tomorrow we don't have school. So next time I will be in here will be Thursday. And yeah, tomorrow we just have professional development all day and we'll actually be at a different school in the district. So I'm just grabbing all my stuff. I'm gonna bring quite a few like teacher manuals and stuff just because we're doing a lot of content curriculum mumbo jumbo. So um, I have a whole stack of books that I need to bring with me for tomorrow, but hey, we start at eight instead of usually I have to be here by seven. So I get to sleep in like an extra 45 minutes tomorrow morning, just looking at <laughs> The plus sides if there are any of a long professional development day even though we have to be there longer so we don't get there until eight but we have to be there until four which i usually leave by three so yeah i'm gonna grab my stuff and head out and i actually i'm gonna go home and change and then i have a peer bar class i've talked about it a lot on here but peer bar is my new favorite workout i actually get so excited to go i love these classes so much they're like fun to me and they feel so good it's not like super hard cardio where you leave just like dead and like a sweaty mess you still get a nice sweat but it's more just like you work those like micro muscles and your legs and butt and abs burn so bad when you leave but it's like such a good burn and I just feel like you actually see a lot of results from it so I get really excited for my peer bars I do them once a week I signed up for the membership where I just get one class a week so for a month um and I really love it and then I do orange theory twice a week so usually Monday Wednesday or Tuesday Thursday just depending on how my week is um so yeah I'm gonna grab my stuff and get out of here head to your bar and then I'll see you guys back at school tomorrow good morning everybody happy Wednesday and happy first day of fall this is so exciting it really feels like fall outside I went and got my coffee this morning and it's like so cool outside in the mornings now it's starting to get hot um in the afternoons but I got to wear my cute little comfy jacket this is from forever 21 by the way if you're curious um but it is actually already 11 30 in the morning and we got to our professional development trainings at 8 a.m so i am done with my first session <laughs> yes it was a very long session and we have an hour lunch break so i'm gonna go home um get something to eat and then come back here and we have to be back here i think by 12 30 so i only have like an hour um but it's been going really well so far it's been pretty good training um very informative so um yeah obviously i can't take much footage at all <laughs> during these trainings um i can't really like whip out my camera during it so today's just gonna be kind of like a short chill day um but let's head home and get some food just kidding i ended up going to bread co and getting lunch with kathy and her husband um but now i went a little bit late 12 27 i need to be back by 12 30 so we're pushing it but that's okay i like to live life stressful right all right well 
I'm driving there. Gotta go all the way back to the school. Somehow find parking and make it inside the building in three minutes. So it's going great. All right, guys. It's the end of the day. It is 3.50. So we got out like 10 minutes early, which <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but I am so tired. I was like barely making it through that last meeting trying to pay attention but I was just so tired so I'm about to head home but I do have orange theory at 5 45 so I'm not even gonna have time to nap I'm just gonna go home change chill and then head to orange theory <laughs> My student teacher just left and I am heading out the door because I gotta drive home to St. Louis, but I wanted to show you guys what I do for my sub plan. So I just have them sat out on the table. My sub plan packet just has like a big thank you, our schedule for the day, class rules, what our class management is, and then our plans. And I literally just type it out in detail, time by time throughout the day and what they need to do. And then a little how did the day go response sheet. And yeah, basically what I do for reading, I just have a packet. Um, they're allowed to read independently. They're allowed to read with a buddy, read with the sub, work on the packet or go on their iPad. Lots of choices. Um, math, same thing. A lot of color by numbers, which they love and some work that we've been doing in the classroom. And then for writing, I found these fun. Would you rather sheets? Um, these were just on TPT. So I'm done, I'm running out the door, but I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this week in my life. I'm going to start probably a new one next week, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.